Welcome back to the Booty Bands More Than Fitness Podcast. Your host, Danita Young here. And today we've got a very special guest that is crushing it, by the way. I'm not just saying like she's barely getting her goals. No, no, no. Naomi is crushing her goals. And I have to bring her on the podcast today so you guys can hear directly from her mouth about how she is actually really seeing and feeling these results and how she's getting into them. So Naomi is 13 years of a licensed massage therapist. She is a mom. She is a mama. And she also is 16 years of a surviving widow. And she's been five months into the booty bands world. And she has just completely consumed booty bands world, everything that has to do with it, the podcast. So she is not new to on the, on the booty bands world here. So welcome in Naomi. Hey, (laughs) Booty Bands and Barbells helps busy women sculpt and tone their bodies in just 15 minutes a day through our physical products and our one-on-one coaching. Awesome. So Naomi, your results are just phenomenal. You're losing inches like crazy. Your, Your progress photos are just, I mean, you can clearly just see your entire body is transforming. The way that just from our very first call till now, like you're just, you seem like a completely different person. So I'm just excited to hear like, what would be some of like, maybe the top three things that really has switched for you and, and what you really got from the program? The top three things are my, well, what my goals were, which were my nutrition to improve my balance and also to gain my strength. Mm -hmm. And I've, grown leaps and bounds in all three of those. The one that I'm most proud of is my nutrition because I really didn't know. My nutrition was so off. It was no wonder why my body was not keeping up with my everyday life. (laughs) So once you gave me all the pointers, you were so kind and in guiding me to that, like it, it was just never any shame or criticism. It was like, Hey, just try this. And you sending me pictures of like, look at what I'm eating. And it was just a really, I'm like, Oh, that looks great. And then, you know, next thing I know I'm purchasing or something similar to it. At first it started off. I didn't have time to be in the kitchen kind of in a living situation where I live with other people that have like substance abuse issues. So I don't really like to share the common space area. So I was just purchasing things on the drive through over time, over these months, I've gotten to the point where I'm like, I've just faced it. I'm like, you know what? It's my kitchen too. (laughs) And I'm going to get my avocado toast or my salad or my protein shake together. And I'm back in my kitchen. So, (laughs) so yeah, I'm really proud of that. (laughs) Yeah. To me right there, what you guys are hearing is the boundary setting. There can be two parts to this is when we don't have the worthiness or the deserving, I'm not good enough, and we're going to find ourselves self-isolating and putting all these other people ahead of us. So what you're hearing is Naomi starting to step into her true self. She's like, no, I am worthy. I am deserving. I'm going to, I live in this kitchen too. So here we are. So that sounds to me immediately like that empowerment that we work on, which is great. Thanks for telling us your goals. That's great. So what were some of the things that you were doing previous that you weren't reaching your goals? Like what were some of the things that you see as the biggest flip? Exercise wise, I really love cardio. I love getting my sweat on. Being outside in the elements felt wonderful. Like my body really responds to that, but I just wasn't losing. I was just staying the same. You know, it felt great, but I was just spinning my wheels. So once I started doing weights, which I did it when I was younger, like way younger when I was a little gym rat, but now that I'm, you know, I'm a mom and I just have my career. I felt funny about my figure. I just feel self-conscious. I didn't want to join a gym. Buying the weights and having them in my room at home and setting up my little space. And I mean, I have a little space. It's like two, maybe two and a half feet by like a yoga mat size. like, (laughs) And then just like a little small mirror (laughs) that I got at Walmart. But that was my space. Respecting that space and knowing, hey, I'm here to work out and then just meeting myself in the mirror. Yeah. Just meeting myself and being like, this is our time. We got to get back to us, you know, me, myself and I, (laughs) I love it. Okay. So so switching from the cardio to the resistance, I like that, that, that you did that, but how could you explain to women that are listening about the reason why we do that? What did you learn about how we could actually get to our goals faster by doing that switch? We're going to need muscles to burn calories. (laughs) So for me, it was like, okay, conditioning my muscles to function again, just doing the exercises. Like I was following the videos. I have the app, just following the videos and just getting used to doing the movement again. And 
while I was doing that, improving my balance because I really was off. Getting my body on the rhythm of, of a schedule again, it changed my sleep. My sleep got better again with my food. It was just like this all together. It, it just worked. It helped, me, it helped my confidence as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Totally. Oh. Right. Now, the belief I had before I had a coach and it was definitely on trying to burn the calories with cardio. Mm-hmm. And then I obviously had the coach and he taught me a lot about the resistance training. And it is to be able to get that confidence of lifting correctly and getting into that rhythm and finding the consistency, just having somebody that you can trust to lean on with that. What I thought before with weights, I thought it was going to make me bulky. Did you feel that same experience or what was yours going into it? No, I know my body type. It's so funny because when I was in the gym, it was like my teens, early 20s. But now as a 46-year-old woman, I wasn't concerned that I was going to bulk up. If anything's going to change, it's going to change a lot slower. (laughs) Mm -hmm. But I know that it's going to be for the better. My body has changed so much, but it's been a slow change. It's very subtle. And I've had to check myself because... I was like, oh, it's not fast enough. But then Mm -hmm. I'm like, no, it's steady. And I actually thought about it today. I've lost, I think, 14 pounds since February. That's really, really good for a 46-year-old woman. (laughs) I think think that's pretty great because what is that, four and a half, five months? So like two and a half, three pounds a month, something like that. On top of that, that it's the right amount of weight that you're losing, right? So our biggest focus is that we're looking at overall inches and that if we are losing weight, it's coming from fat and it's not muscle. So where you went was you started off with a waist of 37 inches and now you're at 32 inches. So that's Mm -hmm. the really cool part is because people can focus on weight loss. They can lose 14 pounds, but they can also look really soft, skinny, meaning like they kind of really don't look that good when they lose a lot of weight. But what's really cool is you're going into what's called body recomposition. So dropping the waist and being able to still keep your shape. How cool is that? Yeah. And I can tell I wear scrubs every day for work. I can tell I need a new scrub size. So that's pretty exciting. (laughs) I have my goals and what I want to be in that. Now I'm kind of like swimming in them. (laughs) I can see it. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah. for sure. And how, how cool does it feel that at 46 years old, you can reverse the aging waking? Oh man, it is confidence builder, Danita. I can't thank you enough. When I get up in the morning, I, if I am sore, it's, oh, I worked legs yesterday or man, that was a really good shoulder workout. I really needed that, you know, and it's a different respect that I have for my body. It's not like, oh, I'm aching. I can't move my back. My back doesn't hurt like it used to. That's huge. And that's because my core muscles are getting stronger. It really is an all around thing. And it's not just me. Like people are starting to comment on it. I'm more open people are starting to respond to me in a different way, in a friendlier way, I guess, because I'm more receptive than I was. I was pretty closed off before. My life has changed significantly because I've started to care for myself again. Wow. Yeah. We see that a lot in our, um, that loop, the, uh, the trigger leads to the thoughts, the thoughts lead to the feelings, the feelings lead to the actions, the actions lead to the outcome. Right. And so we have these women that are stuck in these loops for anywhere from, I've seen from 20 to about 56 years that people yeah. are stuck in these loops. And oftentimes what I find is that when they have these triggers, the feelings, the thoughts, the feelings that usually the actions next is that self-isolation, or that really down on themselves or that negative self-talk and how that ripple effects into so many areas of your life that you are starting to see it ripple effects into your career and the way that you were living this not setting the boundaries correctly, all sorts of stuff, right? Yeah. Danita, since we last talked, it did help me through this one time I spiraled. It was just like horrible, this downward spiral. And it was something that someone did from work. And I was just like, I don't know how to address this. It was really, really toxic. I had been speaking up, but nobody was really doing anything about it. Things finally came to a head and I made the choice to keep my peace 
And I decided I'm going to leave both of my jobs <laughs> because I am going up in life. I'm going further. I'm not going to stay here because it's not serving me anymore. And once I made that choice, then everything changed. I mean, my bosses begged me to stay. They're like, no, wait, wait, wait. We'll take care of this. Just give us time. And it was so surprising. It's like once I put my foot down and put myself first, man, everything else just shifted. And life is great now. And it was like no one was going to do anything. They weren't going to do it. I was the one that had to do it. And I didn't have the courage to do it until then because I was like, I don't know where I'm going to go. I don't know what I'm going to do. But my back was up against the wall. And I was like, no, this is no kind of life. I'm really proud of myself for doing that. I'm like, was it stupid? Because I could have been like unemployed. <laughs> but no, it wasn't. I took that chance on me. And everyone's happier now. Like everything has shifted. Every, everyone's happier now. Mm -hmm. Everything's out in the open. I have my career. I'm so, so grateful. Thank you, Danita. For encouraging me to put myself first. Little sayings, the little mantras. I am important. I matter. I love myself. It was always there. I just stopped listening to it for a while, mm -hmm. but now I, I believe it again. And now everybody sees it too, that I love myself and I'm not just going to put up with whatever. Yeah. What you guys are so. hearing is the rewriting of the neurological loop. So when she starts with those thoughts, her feelings change. And when her feelings change, her actions change. And when her actions change, her outcomes change. So you guys can actually visually see the whole picture, like bird's eye view picture of how it ripple effects into all the other areas of your life, right? So just by living your truth, that's really ultimately what I brought you to is just your truth. It's who you yeah. Deep down. Yeah. And I remember the very first interview I had with Booty Bands, it's a question about my confidence. And I'm like, you know, who do you trust? It was like, who do you trust in your life? Who supports you? And I'm like, facing it, like, I really didn't have a support group. I've relied on you so much, Danita. <laughs> you really helped me through one of the darkest places of my life. But I knew I had it in me. I knew I had the strength to do it. I just had to focus. I just had to focus on me. Mm -hmm. Because focusing on everyone else wasn't doing it. It's like, focus on me so that I can take care of others around me, which is what I love to do. I'm a giver, but yeah, I wasn't giving to myself. You know, I knew that it didn't matter where I started from. I could always pick up and move on, but I just didn't know where to start from. And this was my beginning again. This was like my last chance. Like if I don't do this, I don't know if I'm going to make it beyond. I didn't want to see my next 46 years being miserable. I'm like, there's no way. There's no way. My life is way too precious. These uh, last five months have been a huge transformation for me. Yeah. Oh, I have goosebumps just hearing that and honestly just witnessing the whole transformation of it and give yourself so much credit for one, seeing the hope that there was it inside of you. It was there the whole time seeing that to be able to invest in yourself, to yeah. be able to pick a program that's holistic, that works through all three areas mindset, yeah. nutrition, workouts, to be able to then feel brave enough to trust the process and trust me. I had so much to, in order to do that it has to be that synergy. And I'm so proud of you for doing that and now being able to see the other side of it and live a life that is meant for you. Pretty yeah. Cool. And even now, like there's so much pressure in society, you know, talking about weight loss and I work in the health industry. So talking to others about weight loss and exercise and taking care of yourself. I have to practice what I preach, but I hear a lot of women saying, Oh, if you just want to get over that hump, take this shot or take this weight loss, this and this and that. And I'm like, no, I want to do the best that I can with what I have. I feel better about that. Like it's hard work. It's not easy. It's hard work, but it's worth it. It's what's necessary. There's a lot of hard. You got to pick your heart. <laughs> it's hard to get up and your back hurts. Hard to get up and have bum knees, but you can work to strengthen those knees. You can work to strengthen your core, a nice waistline. And it's actually 31 and a half inches, Danita. <laughs> 
are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at her correcting me that she's lost even more. I mean, it's so cool to see it. Amazing. And okay, if I put your before and after photos in here so they can see the progress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. cool. I didn't really see it. Like you don't see it when you're going through it. But once like you did the side by side pictures for me, I was like, yo, <laughs> I showed my mom, I showed my daughter. I'm like, look at what I've been doing. And they're all really proud of me now. So I think me sticking with it. Oh my gosh, Denise, I can't tell you how much this boundary setting has changed my life. And I think I text you one time. I was like, I've been ruffling some feathers, <laughs> but you know what? It's not that I don't care. I'm a very caring individual. It's that it's things that need to be said. I'm a family member. I'm a colleague. I'm a parent. I'm a sibling. I'm a friend, but like I matter. I'm not a doormat. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Can you just hear the truth ringing from Naomi right now? Can you just feel her <laughs> confidence? Oh my gosh, you guys now know why I love doing what I do. Naomi, I have a couple questions for you. First one I have, I want you to really think about this and get real serious right now. Think about it hard. What is something that you'll never do again? Cheat myself with my food. Sometimes I'll order a wrap from my favorite place down the street and they'll put fries in it. And I'm like, oh, I forgot to ask for just the wrap. And it's like, I'll pitch the fries. So I'm not cheating myself like I was before. I thought I needed that. I don't need that. It can be enjoyed, but it's not necessary. It's not making me feel better because I know how much work it is to burn it off. And I know my what my goals are. So cheating myself with my food is not going to happen. Love it. Okay. Yeah. What's, a, what's another one that you can think of? What is something that you'll never do again? Sell myself short. It's not worth it. It really isn't. Especially when I see how like little things lead to big things. And it's a lot harder to stop that once it's in motion. But if you stop it earlier, if you speak up earlier, things can change. And if you stop it earlier, it'll keep from a big abrupt stop in the future. I don't want to sell myself short anymore. Why? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Think of one more. What is something that you'll never do again? I'm never going to fall into despair like I was before. That giving up on myself. My exercise is a part of my life. I need it. I've texted you a couple times like, hey, man, I had a rough day and I just hit the weights and it made everything better. That's my new go-to. This is like my medicine. It's like my stress relief, my therapy. Hitting the weights feels good. And it helps to keep my sanity in check. It helps to keep my body from being injured. It keeps my self-esteem up. I'm filling my tank when I do my weights. Even yeah. band work is tough, man. I have this really cool video. It says, tell all the women out there listening, as you get older, you're losing about 3 to 10% of your muscle mass every year. If you're not counteracting that with weight training and increasing your protein intake, you're deteriorating by the year. Tell all the women out there that are listening. Eh, a good little thing. You know what else I learned? Um, alcohol, when you are premenopausal, alcohol will mess up your digestion, your metabolism, by like, I think it was like 60%, it slows it down while you have the alcohol in your system. And I was like, no, <laughs> no way. I'm not going to let that hold me down anymore. So I'm, I like way tapered off alcohol. I was like, it's fun. You know, I, I can enjoy it, but I don't want it to throw me off my goals. So, and I still have a long way ahead of me. Yeah. Thanks for sharing that. I love that. Favorite thing is just being able to connect with women that are experiencing the same or similar things that we can all help each other through it. One of my most favorite things this program is cycle syncing and learning what's happening in menopause. And the biggest yeah. thing that I've learned by working with other women and having these women with knowledge come in and giving me these awesome guides that now I give to you guys is right. that things like cravings and cramps and hot flashes and all these type of things are actually abnormal. <laughs> They're not normal. Our body's yeah. trying to tell us like, hey, you're either nutrient deficient or you're too high in your stress or, hey, your hormones are out of whack and you haven't been exercising and sweating out that extra estrogen. Mm -hmm. I have learned so much about hormones in general that has allowed me to now understand why I'm having cramps or cravings 
paw flashes, you name it. Like it's that, yeah. that awareness, there's so much more control. I feel like too. Definitely. One of the first meetings that we had, I mentioned how I I'm from the Midwest. I'm living in the South, but so I don't get the food that I used to have over there down here. And one week I was just craving cheese curds <laughs> and I couldn't find them anywhere here. And you just sent me a little, whenever you're craving ABC, it's because you're deficient in X, Y, Z. And I was like, oh, okay. I broke it down and you know, you helped me through that. And I've not craved it since. Wow. So, you know, just with that nutrition, that whole nutrition thing, it's like, it's easier. So cool. Yeah. To yeah. me, yeah, same thing. I can relate to that. I was huge chocolate freak. I couldn't stop it. It was like, once I had that craving, I would indulge in it. And what I like is the sense of food freedom that we can still have those things, but we can balance it with the other things. So we don't have to mm-hmm. live life in these extremes, right? Yeah. Starting these diets where it's like no more cheese curds. You're like, ah, <laughs> so then all you think about is cheese curds, cheese, cheese, cheese. And then you're just, you go insane. I really feel like when you go into these restrictive type of diet worlds out there. Not just that, but I've learned my diet has expanded. Like there's so many other better tasting foods that I prefer now. Oh, did you guys hear that? That was cool. I haven't heard that yeah. yet. And that really made a lot of sense that a lot of people think that when they go into a weight loss or whatever journey, you know, they think that they have to be more and more restricted. But you just heard Naomi say, no, my nutrition, my things that I wanted to enjoy expanded. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, I love that. I actually, I actually, and just keeping up with my water, like just yesterday was Sunday, right? I had uh, one of my best friends called me and she said she took her kids out on their bikes And one of her kids, 10 minutes into the bike, just kind of like passed out. He was dehydrated and they had to take him to the hospital. I mean, he just had some fluids put in him, but I was just like, oh, like, thank God I always have my water bottle on me. I have like three, five gallon jugs of water in my room because I drink so much freaking water. I'm like, I'm not going to be running back and forth to the kitchen. I just keep them in my room. And um, that way I don't have an excuse not to have water. So brilliant. I think that can help somebody things. listening. <laughs> yeah. Little things like that make a big difference. I have my little stash. I have like my Brazil nuts to help me with my selenium. I have like my tea that I drink before I go to sleep at night. Little adjustments. I, I try to stay wave, you know, and just kind of like weed out the nonsense. It's yep. helped a lot. That's great. So my last question I have for you, and I just wanted to again say thanks for your time. But my last question I have for you is if somebody is almost like the old Naomi, really just stuck, giving up on herself, really just kind of fighting that own negativity battle, you know, just really lost. If somebody right now is listening, they're at right now where you used to be, what would you tell them now that you're on the other side? I would just be like you and just keep encouraging. And I have been talking to, there are a lot of people that are like, oh, I need to work out like you. I'll introduce them to your website on Instagram. It feels good to be like a little mini ambassador <laughs> because I mean, it has changed me from the inside out. So I would just encourage with, oh, that's a really good snack that you're eating or, oh, you, you worked your legs yesterday. Which exercises did you do? Just keep talking about the positive stuff, how fun it is. And also invite to go out a friend that I met through work that we go out hiking. My daughter is vegan and what she, with her diet, what she's been eating has not been agreeing with her. So she's like, I think I need to change up some of the stuff that I'm eating I went to check out a women's gym street from my work. It's only so much a month. If you want to join with me, I said we could do classes. It's all just women's gym. And she's like, yeah, I think I'd like to try that. So I think I'm going to do that with my daughter. I'm so excited. Wow. I love it. Look at the ripple effect it does now. Yeah. And I have like my stuff at home too, but if I'm in there, if I'm sleeping, she doesn't have access to it. So at least this way, I know it's a safe environment for her. She feels like she would like to do something to help herself feel better. I'm really grateful because I never, ever thought that I would be at this point with my daughter. I mean, it was like a dream. Like I hoped, like we go out on long walks um, by the Savannah river sometimes, but I mean, walking just doesn't do it for me. Like I need more now that, that my daughter is taking this next step. It's huge. 
Mm. So even even if she doesn't go with me, at least she has it there it's, and it's it's changing. So I uh, saw a fact the other day. I don't know. I think it was about 60 percent that it said um, your impact that you have on your children's life is about 60 percent. If you do it yourself, it has that much of an increase to help them in their direction. I thought that wow. was really cool to see. Yeah, that's huge. Yeah, I believe it. I believe it because watching my parents, my mom and has always been pretty health conscious with her food and her water and, you know, her health. And my dad was always pretty physical. We're very happy and upbeat. So I can see how, yeah, that would be, that always did influence me. I do a lot of the stuff that they do, but I just kind of got lost for a little while. But yeah, it feels good to be back to me. And you're back. Yay. Yeah. (laughs) Awesome. Well, thank you so much for today and your time and for your wisdom and just being able to speak in the voice, letting others know that they're not alone and that the feelings that they're having is so normal. It's very normal to feel this. And is there a solution and is there hope? Absolutely. So thank you for coming on and just expressing that. Thank you so much, Danita, for all of your encouragement. Thank you for your cute little weights. I love, I look forward to working out with them and I like telling people about them and it's just perfect for me. So thank you. You're so welcome. So I have really never stuck with anything for more than six months until I found Booty Bands Barbell. It's life-changing. The progress over perfection mindset has been so life-changing. You have self-love and to have self-worth. I just do the 10 minutes and I'm already reaping the benefits. The workouts are fun and that they're effective. I have seen great results that I never thought I'd ever see. I love it because I'm keeping the weight off. We help hold each other accountable as they commit to our goals. Booty Bands and Barbells has really changed my life for the better. I have to be real with you. The past six months really took a toll on me and my body. I felt incredibly stressed, isolated. After being a good 12 to 13 pounds heavier, I said, that's it. I'm going to make healthy choices. And I'm happy to tell you today that I am actually down 15 pounds. I feel amazing. I feel like I lost fat and put on muscle. I have a lot more energy. So it's never too late to start. You can take control again. Thanks, Booty Band Nation. Positive that you will get more sculpted, more toned, and you're going to love those new healthy changes and our community and our coaches. From where you're at, no matter where you are, or how long you've been in the position. So just click the button below to book the call with our team.